Hey guys, in our previous video, we discussed how to write the uh, frames and the alert. And we have written so many uh, functions as of now. So if you wanted to know like how many functions are there within a file, you can click on this uh, explorer and then click on this outline and just drag it up. And here you can see that we have few functions like within the protector brace class, we have this alert accept text, I mean accept alert, asset false, assert text, and then we have the asset true clear and type, click, dismiss alert, get alert from text, and few other things as well, right? And these are the variables and these are the functions, right? Now we are going to include few of the functions uh, like the type. For example, in the second video, I think we have written like type and clear and type, right? But other than that, also there are situations where we have to do like type and enter, type and tab, and type, then pause for revoil, and then you have to click on any of the data, right? So that are most common in any of the website and in the world of Angular, of course, that should be taken care very much, right? So we are going to write functions for that and that's going to be very, very easy, nothing much here. So we already learned about that. So I'm just going to convert all those into the form in the format of functions. That's it, reusable function. That is what framework. So if you're good with the basics, writing a framework from the scratch is very, very easy. So let's see how to do that. So I'm just going to create a public function and that's going to be async as usual. And here we'll say like type and tab. So type and tab. And within this, uh, not this one. So within this, of course, we need two arguments. One is basically the element and that's going to be of type element finder. And then we have the data, test data to be passed. And that's going to be of type string. And within the curly braces, we have to write the logic. So that's going to be await. And first we'll wait for the visibility of the element. So this dot visibility of, and then we'll pass the element. And that's it. After that, we are going to say await. Then we'll call the element dot clear first. So we are going to clear the data first. And after that, we are going to do the type. So we have to type and tab, right? So here we'll say await element dot send case. Within this, we are going to pass the test data first. And then we are going to say protector dot key dot tab, right? Very easy. So we are going to use this protector um key dot tab to do the tab action so first it will default by default it will clear the value whatever the value we have within the text box it is going to do the clear and after that it is going to type which is going to the pass the test data that whatever we are going to pass and after that we are going to pass the um keyboard actions like the tab okay now similarly we have to write for the type and enter so i'm just going to copy this and here we'll pass like type and enter so instead of type and tab, we will use this type and enter. And then here we can pass, instead of tab, we'll pass the enter as a value, right? But there is a problem. Problem in the sense, of course, whenever we are going to write our script, that should be work on both Windows as well as Linux or as well as in the Mac as well. But in the world of Mac, we do not have enter. It doesn't work. Instead of enter, we have to pass the return key, right? So here we have to say the return. But how do I know in which environment I am running my um, test, right? So we are going to see how to do this now. So for that, we are going to use the capabilities. So let's write that. So away browser dot get capabilities. So what is get capabilities? Probably if you know that uh, in one of my video, I said that we can run our test script in the existing browser using the capabilities where we got the debugger address, right? Now we are going to get the platform in which platform our test script is running. Based on the platform, we'll configure this. Like if it's Mac, it's going to execute the return uh, this key, or else it is going to return the enter. I mean, it's going to take the enter action. Okay. So now here we are going to store this in a, a variable called capabilities. And from the capabilities, we are going to get the capabilities like uh, get, and that should be the platform. And this is going to return as the platform here. 
so let's say that that's going to be platform as a variable okay and after that we are going to write a condition if the platform is going to be of mac then we'll do something else we'll do something now what is that something we'll discuss now and actually it should not be mac it should be mac os x how do i know that probably you can just uh, do the print statement and you can check what is the platform it's going to return or maybe you can just read the documentation i already knew i am i faced this issue on my project so that's the reason i am very confident about it and i'm just pasting the value here okay now uh, this visibility is going to be common so i'm going to write that before the uh, conditional statement and clear is also going to be very same so we'll write that before the condition and here if this is the condition if the platform is mac we will just move this line within the if condition else we are going to copy and paste the same instead of return we will just make this as enter that's it right so based on the platform we have configured now you also learned how to do the type and enter as well as how to get use the get capabilities and check in the runtime what is the browser we are running right so that's it. I think that's pretty much enough for this video. We can write a few of the functions in the next video where I'm going to discuss about the mouse actions like the mouse over or uh, move to element or drag and drop, all those stuff. Okay. So I know we are uh, writing functions for a couple of videos now, but I'm not executing anything with the help of those functions. But definitely, I'm going to use all this function in our page object model existing script where we have written in the javascript i'm going to convert all those in the typescript so stay tuned and if you're not part of our letcode family please do the subscribe if you end up in liking the video please give a thumbs up and also do let me know if you have any queries or suggestions in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon